With an estimated 200 million insects on Earth for every human, it's no surprise to know that you're never too far away from a creepy crawly. Luckily, we don't usually have to face them in large numbers, but when conditions are right, insect colonies can rapidly multiply to extreme proportions. Make sure you've got a can of bug spray on hand, because it's time to take a look at the top 15 biggest insect infestations. Number 15. Locusts Locusts are renowned for their ability to reproduce in the right environment, and before you know it, huge swarms can run rampage across countries and continents, leaving devastation to all plant material in their wake. Once a swarm begins, it's virtually impossible to stop them, and all we can do is let it pass and pick up the pieces. One of the most memorable events like this in recent memory took place in Madagascar in 2013, when a locust plague of biblical proportions developed. In late 2012, the government issued a warning that populations of the native Malagasy migratory locust had begun to increase, but it was in February of 2013 when a cyclone struck that the conditions became absolutely perfect for their numbers to explode. By the end of the following month, more than half of the country was infested by several swarms, each of which contained as many as a billion individuals, and it was officially designated as a plague. Despite spending tens of millions of dollars on pest control efforts, which included spraying chemicals over 3.7 million acres of land over the next 12 months, the locusts posed a severe threat to at least 60% of the country's rice crop, which is the main staple food. Furthermore, it risked the habitats of countless endangered species that would be left without food sources of their own, and the authorities were faced with a huge environmental disaster. Luckily, the swarms dissipated and the worst-case scenarios didn't come to pass, but it shows just how easy it was for a swarm to develop and served as a warning of how catastrophic things could be next time if no preventative measures are taken. Number 14. Grasshoppers Grasshoppers are another species that can rapidly increase in number when the conditions are right, and this led to a rather strange phenomenon in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 2014. Weather officials became confused when their radar began showing a large green formation on maps, but without any sign of a storm developing. It soon transpired that what they were looking at was a huge swarm of grasshoppers that had been swept up into the sky by prevailing winds. A monsoon the year before, along with an unusually dry winter, had meant that far more of the insects had hatched than normal and had led to the worst infestation in the state for more than 20 years. In some cases, the swarm was measured as being swept as high as a thousand feet which is higher than any man-made structures, and there was a constant chance that they could suddenly drop back down to ground level and cause havoc to traffic or to any crops that lay in their path. Fortunately, they aren't anywhere near as devastating as locusts, but can still be an extreme nuisance. One positive that came from this particular infestation, however, is that the Weather Service now understands far more about how swarms show up on radar, and this can be used as an early warning system to help residents prepare themselves for an imminent infestation something that's expected to become far more common in the future as a result of climate change. Number 13. Bed Bugs Bed bugs are some of the most unpleasant insects you'll ever encounter, mainly because they are present around us while we sleep, and this gives them ample opportunity to bite us, which can cause itching and soreness. Luckily, as long as we keep our homes clean, it's rare that large infestations of them develop, but New York has in recent years been found to have a severe problem with them. Between 2004 and 2009, the confirmed number of annual bedbug infestations in the city rose from 82 to 4,084, and they began infecting some of the more well-known buildings in the city. In 2010, for example, the flagship Nike store was forced to temporarily close for fumigation after an infestation was found there. There have also been reported outbreaks in the UN building, the Lincoln Center, the Waldorf Astoria, the Empire State Building, and many more. Quite why this has become such a prevalent problem isn't entirely understood, but bed bugs thrive in warmer conditions inside buildings and are thought to be developing resistance to pesticides and are also believed to be easily spread around the world by international travelers. Next time you visit New York City, the best advice is to carefully check where you're staying, because no matter how the established place you're staying in is, you can never be fully sure they've spotted a developing infestation. Number 12. Yellow Jackets Yellow jackets are a species of predatory wasp that are found in regions around the world. And while they normally exist in manageable numbers and are actually incredibly important to the maintenance of healthy ecosystems, their numbers can skyrocket when there's a plentiful supply of food, and this can lead to severe problems. 
In 2019, authorities in Alabama sent an alert out to residents to warn them of a developing problem with yellow jackets that had begun to develop as a result of the extremely mild winter a few months earlier. Normally, the cold weather kills off the vast majority of yellow jackets, but that hadn't happened on this occasion. It also meant there was far more food for them to feed on, and this led them to breeding at an incredible rate. Yellow jacket nests normally contain around 4 to 5,000 individuals, but a number of super nests were found that had more than three times that amount. They tend to build their nests in any cavity they find, which can quite easily be part of someone's home, and their aggressive behavior in order to protect their nests means that anyone unfortunate enough to disturb one could potentially be killed by an attack. This wasn't the first time a huge infestation of yellow jackets was found across Alabama, and it probably won't be the last. Next time there's a mild winter, just be prepared to be careful the following summer, just in case a super nest is built somewhere near you. Number 11. Cicadas Cicadas are a type of small, jumping insect, similar to leafhoppers, and there are known to be at least 3,000 different species of them across virtually every region in the world. With wide-set eyes, small antenna, and almost transparent wings, they have one of the loudest noises of the insect kingdom, which is made by the fast movement of a drum-like membrane in their abdomens. Their life cycles, however, mean that they spend most of their time underground to feed, and only re-emerge on the surface after either 17 or 13 years. Because of this, swarms and infestations can be predicted with remarkable accuracy by calculating the summer that's 17 years later than a year that's had particularly beneficial weather systems for them to breed. The last mass event like this took place in 2013 on the east coast of the United States, when billions of cicadas began to emerge once the temperature reached 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Known as Brood 2, they outnumbered people by at least 600 to 1. Unfortunately, they are completely harmless. In fact, they provide a great source of nutrition for numerous other animals in the food chain, and all die once they've been able to breed. Their offspring are now buried a few feet underground and feeding on tree roots, and are expected to return again in 2030. Number 10. Flying Ants The name Alates is given to various species of ants and termites that have one particular thing in common. Part of their life cycles involve them developing wings and flying to new locations. When this happens, it can seem like an apocalyptic event, because they all enter this stage at the same time, and can lead to huge dark swarms flying through the sky for several days a year. In some places, the event is known as Flying Ant Day, and it's so disruptive that people will often do their best to stay indoors while it's happening, so they don't have to be in the midst of it. In the UK, for example, these swarming events are notorious, and normally take place at some point during July or August. The species that's a particular problem in that country is the black garden ant, and all of the males and queens are able to develop wings. What's surprising, though, is that all of them seem to emerge at the exact same time. This isn't a planned event on their part, however. It's more to do with the weather. It always happens after a prolonged period of warm temperatures and heightened humidity, which acts as a sign to the ants that it's time. While there's no threat to anyone and it's a perfectly natural swarming event, it can be seriously disruptive. When it happened earlier in the summer, it's even been known to affect the Wimbledon Tennis Championships, where players find it almost impossible to focus on the game when they keep being surrounded by the insects. Number 9. Beetles In 2011, residents of Queensland in Australia began noticing huge numbers of beetles virtually everywhere they went, from pools and footpaths to homes and streets. Some described the scenes as like being straight out of a horror movie. And it wasn't just the sight of the creatures, it was the fishy urine smell that they produced too. This was far from being a normal event, so officials started investigating to try to find out what was happening. It turned out that it was a species of predatory water beetle that are always prevalent in moderate numbers in the waterways and coastal regions of the city. But something had happened that caused their numbers to multiply and infest large parts of the area. While the true cause was never determined for certain, the leading theory is that it was the combination of an extremely hot summer along with a series of floods. With small pools and puddles all over the place, there were far more places where the beetles had the opportunity to breed, and these newborns then had to go out on their own to search for new water sources. It's another natural event that's not dangerous to humans, but can be disruptive, and one that's expected to be far more common in the coming years due to changing weather patterns experienced by countries around the world. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Emerald Ash Borers 
Native to northeastern Asia, the emerald ash borer is a species of jewel beetle that feeds primarily on the species of ash tree. The females lay their eggs beneath the bark of the trees, and once the larvae have hatched, they proceed to eat the bark until they reach maturity after a year or so. In their native region, the ecosystem has developed a way that keeps their numbers under control so they don't have too much of a problem. But with the advent of international travel, they've now spread to areas without these natural safeguards and have begun to run riot. In what's probably one of the most severe insect infestations of our time, emerald ash borers now pose a significant threat to ash trees across the United States. So far, millions of trees are believed to have died as a result of their feeding habits, and it's thought that all 8.7 billion trees across America could be at risk. One of the main reasons for this is that they also kill young trees before they're mature enough to produce seeds, so they're severely impacted the ability of ash trees to spread. As a result, there are now extensive efforts to control the population numbers of emerald ash borers, even to the extent that a tree that's confirmed to be infected is uprooted and destroyed, and any ash trees in the surrounding area suffer the same fate, to be sure that all the insects have been eliminated. It's not clear how effective these attempts are going to be, and many experts think it's just a matter of time before the inevitable happens. Number 7. Crickets on their own, crickets aren't insects that most people worry about. They're usually associated with rural areas where they're a vital part of the local ecosystem. But as is common with various species, if conditions lead to large quantities of food, their numbers will begin to significantly multiply. That's exactly what happened in Oklahoma in late 2013, following an extended period of dry and warm weather over the summer, followed by heavy rainfall in the late summer. This meant that far more young crickets were able to reach adulthood than normal and there was plenty of vegetation for them to feed on. There were so many that they began to move into communities, and piles of them started to congregate. Images show just how serious the problem was, with millions of them over ceilings, walls, and in the streets, and once they found themselves in built-up areas, there was nowhere near enough food to sustain them, so they started dying en masse. This created a horrific smell like rotting meat that wafted through the air, and forced most residents to stay inside to avoid it. Experts say that invasions like these are beginning to happen more and more often because of the increasingly hot summers, and before long, this could well be a yearly occurrence. Number 6. Termites If there's one type of insect you never want to see around your home, it's termites. These critters love to chew through wood and can cause serious structural problems to buildings in very little time. But if you think we've had it bad these days, just wait until you see what happened a few hundred years ago. Researchers in Brazil began to notice a series of mounds on the northeast of the country that were so big they're visible on satellite imagery. They were for a long time more difficult to see from the ground because of the scrub forests, but in 2017 and 2018, these had started to recede and the structures became more clear. Upon closer inspection, they were found to be termite mounds, the structures formed on the surface by the insects as they dig underground tunnels. But what was unusual about these ones was just how huge they were. Created by just one species of termite, an estimated 200 million of the mounds are in a tightly packed region about the same size as Great Britain. Thought to have been formed at some point between 700 and 3700 years ago, the amount of material involved is about the same as 4,000 pyramids of Giza. It's one of the largest series of structures ever known to have been formed in the animal kingdom, and you can only imagine the vast numbers of termites needed to do this. Estimated to be in the many hundreds of billions, it's one of the largest insect infestations ever known to have occurred. Number 5. Ladybug Ladybugs are some of the more beautiful types of insect you're likely to see in nature on a summer's day, and in most cases they're seen as a useful species because of the way they prey upon aphids and other insects that destroy crops. As with everything though, too much of a good thing can become detrimental, and when ladybugs begin to swarm in numbers, the result can be amazing to see, but equally as damaging to the environment. In the US, the insects tend to start finding warmer places at the end of the summer after they finish feeding in the fields, and this can often result in large swarms of them congregating together. Typically, this happens after long periods of cooler weather, and they frantically search for a place that's illuminated by the sun for some valuable warmth. The result of this can be entire trees or buildings covered in a carpet of red insects, particularly ones near to woods or fields. There have been a couple of occasions in the UK and Australia where these swarms have grown to such sizes that they've been referred to as plagues, and when there's not enough aphids to go around, they've been known to begin biting humans. Number 4. Ermine Moths 
There are hundreds of species of ermine moths around the world, and while they're generally regarded as a stunning species when in adulthood, their larvae can prove to be a real pest. That's because when they're in this stage of their life cycle, they create communal webs, and when there's enough of them, this behavior can become seriously disruptive. The most recent example of this took place in Rotterdam in 2009, when for some reason, hundreds of thousands of the critters descended onto the city. They're usually found in woodlands where they feed on leaves, and once they've eaten enough over a period of six to eight weeks, they're ready to spin a cocoon and transform into a moth. On this occasion though, far more caterpillars had survived than normal because of the weathered conditions, and there weren't enough leaves to go around. Their only means of defense against predators is the blanket of silk that they weave together, and it's something they produce everywhere they go. This meant that in order to reach a new food source, they had to pass through Rotterdam, and the route they took was soon covered with a silky web. Everything from street signs and cars to homes, playgrounds, and grass was covered in an event that's known as the Walk of the Ghosts because of the creepy white shroud that's left behind. Number three, car spiders. When we think of infestations, the normal expectation is a large number of single species congregating in a confined area, but arguably one of the largest infestations of recent times took place in a small number across the country. To the motoring world's surprise, Mazda was forced to recall as many as 100,000 cars that had been manufactured between 2010 and 2012. Because of the way they'd been designed, actually encouraged a species of spider to build their webs in a vital component. That could lead to an engine fire, or potentially even worse. The species in question was the small yellow sack spider, which were apparently being attracted by the smell of hydrocarbons in the gasoline. They were finding their way into a fuel tank hose where they'd weave their webs, and this resulted in blocking the airflow, which could subsequently cause the fuel hose to crack. The company designed a spring to be added that in most cases prevents these spiders from gaining access, and to this day, it's just not clear how many vehicles became home to the small creatures, though it's believed to at least number in the tens of thousands. Number 2. Fire Ants as their name suggests, fire ants are a particularly nasty species of ant that if they manage to bite you, cause an intense stinging sensation that can last for hours or even days. There are several different species that are referred to as fire ants, each of which have equally painful stings. And while they're native to jungle regions around the world, they are an invasive species and will happily set up home wherever they find themselves. The red imported fire ant has, for example, become present in the U.S. after accidentally being brought to the country in shipping crates. Recent estimates suggest $5 billion a year is spent on treating injuries, repairing damage, and controlling their population growth in America alone. Along with a further $750 million worth of agricultural damage that they cause. The problem is particularly prevalent in the southeastern United States, in regions where around 40 million people live and it's thought that as many as 30 to 60% of the people living in fire ant infested regions are stung at least once by one every year. Fire ants are responsible for one of the largest insect infestations worldwide outside of their native environments, and it's become such a problem that local animals have even begun to evolve to enable them to avoid being attacked by them. Number 1. Murder Hornets in 2020, news began to spread that murder hornet nests had been found in North America for the first time, and while the name certainly gives a clue as to how dangerous this can be, it was the summer of 2013 in the Shenxi province of China that shows the potential devastation that they can cause. Each female Asian giant hornet will produce up to 2,000 offspring a year, but normally most of these won't reach adulthood. That summer, however, weather conditions meant that far more survived, and huge swarms and infestations began to develop. The species aren't particularly concerned about encounters with humans, particularly as the venom in their sting causes red blood cells to break down and can lead to serious medical problems. Over a couple of months, the hornets began to swarm around cities, and attracted to the smell of sweat, alcohol, and anything sweet, they attacked any humans that got in their way. To make matters worse, if you try to run away from them, they'll usually start chasing after you, and this has meant that a huge number of people were stung. By the time temperatures had cooled and the hornets had moved away, 42 people had been killed as a result of a sting, and 1,600 people had been seriously injured. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.